This video will cover three fun projects to do during lockdown, winter months, and even make some money in the process. This year we've done a ton of fun projects together, everything from ESP8266s to 3D printing to flying aircraft to amateur radio. I've had a lot of fun sharing them with you and getting your feedback in the comments and well today we have a little bit of a different video. Where I live here in Canada, we just entered into full lockdown again. We're also entering into the coldest, darkest months of the year, so great time to do some maker projects. First project, let's make some tools to make our life easier in projects. I found this amazing system on Thingiverse for SMD surface mount component storage. These are dispensers to dispense your SMD components as you need them and keep them in place on your bench. I printed out all the needed pieces on my i3 Mega 3D printer, no problem. I used the models that require no additional hardware because, well, this is pretty handy during a pandemic and lockdown, I don't want to go out and get parts. Sure enough, these work exactly as advertised. I don't need to have the tape flying around on my workbench anymore and it easily dispenses one component or two components at a time that I can pick up with my tweezers and go ahead and add to my board. If you're new to surface mount components, this does make life easier. Having that organization on your bench just removes one pain point. It's great. This episode brought to you in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts and assembly as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. Next up we'll be digitizing old home movies, VHS tapes or any other old style media. I managed to find an old Sony VCR on my local Facebook marketplace that is fully functional and actually a fairly high-end unit for the time. One of these units will allow you to plug it right into your USB port. It can be USB 2.0 as well. This is the exact one I have. I'll link it down below for you. You may be like me and in your closet have an old shoebox full of old home movies and tapes. Well, sure enough, I have a whole pile of them. And I also have a bunch of VHS-C tapes from a camcorder I bought many, many moons ago and took lots of video, but I have never been able to play these back. The camcorder quit some time back. This will solve this problem with a simple adapter as well, and we should be able to digitize these. One used VCR plumbed into the USB, no problem. This is somewhat fun just finding what's on these old tapes and sure enough I found home movies. This is my dog from when I was a child, 1991. That's a few years ago. And number three, turning our electronics hobby into kits to make a few dollars as well as help other people get into the hobby themselves. So this is new to me this year. I haven't been making kits from all of these projects and I really should have. For years I've been receiving comments on my videos asking where people can find the components and historically I'd just direct them to eBay or Amazon. Well, not everyone is so comfortable buying things online, especially from sources they're not familiar with. With some anti-static bags, a label maker, a vacuum sealer, and not much else, I'm able to transform any of my projects into kit form for other people to create themselves. There's something super satisfying about spending a couple hours putting everything into kit form on a Saturday morning with a coffee in hand. It's just somewhat therapeutic. A lot of people don't have 3D printers, so this enables you to close the loop on projects that require enclosures or other 3D printed parts for them. Just include them in the kit. Keep them small and modular so that shipping is much more reasonable and you'll have no problem. Shipping these kits doesn't need to be expensive if you keep them quite small. and It's pretty satisfying to ship them all around the world and collaborate together with the same hardware and a little bit satisfying to know that you've helped out get somebody further along into the hobby themselves. 
If you have maker ideas or projects or things you like to do during winter or lockdown, I'd love to hear from you. Throw them in the comments down below. It's going to be a long winter here, so I'm always looking for fun things to do. Cheers, guys. Good luck in all your projects. I love hearing from you. See you next video.